So I just wanted to share some of the tool settings that I um, usually have whenever I'm I'm detailing a creature. So using this uh, this alien that I'm I currently have uh, as a work in progress. Let's go ahead and populate the surface with um, with some uh, some finer form work or finer detail work. So focusing on the damn standard here. Um, what I usually go for when I'm I'm in this this part of the process is I usually set my intensity fairly low. I think the default is 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 more on the higher side, so I knock that down to a pretty low intensity. I usually I usually like to hover around uh, five or six, maybe you know eight eight or seven at the max. And you know now we're dealing with fine lines, but I also want to keep the uh, the radius of my influence, um, my draw size, pretty big. You know, considering we're going to be putting finer finer wrinkles here or finer form breakup on the surface. As you can see, the marks that I'm leaving on the surface contain a very nice pillowy cross section. Now. If we inverse that to you know a high intensity small radius as as what I usually see some people do, you know that is still a very valid manner of um, detailing. It's just you know then you have to smoothen this out and then you have to kind of you know go back in there and accent some of the uh, the trenches. Whereas um, you know if you're working big with low intensity. Or maybe even you know jack that up to about seven. You're getting really nice naturalistic forms. So you know what I would do is just follow the cross section of the form and you know start applying these radiating lines essentially. You know, adding a little bit of uh, sort of undulation so it's not too um, too mechanical. You know, I'm kind of shaking my hands a little. So you know that that's part A of the process. Just focusing in on, on this area. After which we go and move to the clay buildup. So once I have all the lines for the most part blocked in, um, clay buildup with alpha 48 actually is a really good one. What I like to do is again small intensity around seven or so. Just so you have a, a better control of the buildup and also the manner in which you uh, you apply your marks, you know you have control over uh, if if the intensity is low and you're you're building up from there. So, so let's just uh, isolate this area right here. So what I'm adding now is fullness to these forms that we've separated through the uh, the line of the damn standard I'm, I'm adding I mean this if this is flesh you know there's a lot of irregularities and and things going on in there you know like maybe pimply growth I don't know but to take it away from it looking mechanical and I know it takes a lot of time to do this versus you know doing it in the alpha like if you've got a really cool skin alpha which is also totally valid but uh, for me I like the control especially if I'm doing creatures I like the control of um, being able to direct the flow of my detail as opposed to um, you know relying on a, uh, a square alpha and, or painting it with an alpha you know I, I tend to kind of want to just use this opportunity to to focus and concentrate you know with good music as you know <laughs> if you're populating the the uh, the entire surface of, of a creature then you're in for some some investment of time, right? So, but you know, I mean, I like the the results better. And then from here, you know, what I would do is um, maybe add a little bit of, of alpha, an alpha map noise on top to uh, to break it up a even more. But going across the surface, you know, looking for little areas that I could just really bulge out. Say these two are compressing this in the middle, so I'd bulge that out. Just you're looking for interac interactivity between certain pockets that you can just you know pop out. So once I have that, so once I'm fairly happy with this, then switch to a drag rectangle stroke here with a uh, with say this alpha alpha eight, 
switch that to Z add. And again, knocking down the in intensity. So I'm just adding an extra layer of chaos on the surface. You know, notice I'm dragging big. So that extra layer of undulation really helps, you know, I mean, as, as much as I can uh, break up the surface by hand, it doesn't really give it a nice random fractal feel. Uh, that, that's really uh, cool for the, uh, for the surface work. And then we go back to the damn standard here. And just again, looking for opportunities for further breakups, you know, hopefully following the form. So it's not a cross section, you know, there, there's a flow to the, uh, the direction of these things. And yeah, I mean, for the most part, it's a, it's, I would just go back here some, sometimes and smoothen it out and then work on it some more. So it's just a layering process that, um, you know, at the end of it, what you get is, is a surface that, that looks organically broken up. So, you know, once you start painting, applying paint on this thing, there's enough nooks and crannies in there for you to be able to really push and pull the color to, to give it a really nice variation on the surface. So thanks so much for listening, and uh, I hope you guys learned something from that. Thank you.